Hey, what's up everyone? Matt Sosman here. Today I'm going to show you some awesome data loss prevention capabilities with Microsoft Security Technology. I think you're really going to enjoy it. But before I show you this, take a moment and click on subscribe to my channel so that way you can be notified whenever I upload new videos and post new content, which is usually a few times a week. So take a moment and subscribe. Okay, let's pretend for a moment that I'm at home getting ready to watch the Chiefs game and I want to get some work done. So I take that personal computer that's on my coffee table and it's not managed by my company's IT department and I log into Microsoft Teams. So here I am inside Microsoft Teams and I'm gonna edit a document inside Teams. Now this is on my personal computer. Now normally when I edit a document, I probably wanna highlight some text and copy it and do some things with it. Well normally, if I try to copy text out of a document, it's lost forever and I could do whatever I want with that text. Well watch this, if I highlight this text and choose copy, immediately it's gonna block my ability to copy that text because it contains a keyword X1050. Now that's a top secret product here at my fictitious company and anytime we see that keyword anywhere, we're gonna block your ability to copy that text out of Teams. Okay, so that's the ability to copy, block the copy of the text, but what about the ability to prevent download? Again, I'm using this file, maybe I wanna download it locally, do something with it, so I'm gonna to go to Save As here and download a copy. Now, when I click on download, it's gonna scan the document and because it sees those keywords X1050, it's gonna immediately block that download from happening. So we prevented copy paste and we prevented the download from actually happening. Pretty cool stuff. Now, not only does this apply to Microsoft Teams, but this also applies to things like Outlook Web App. So again, I have that top secret document on email. If I try to download it, it's gonna block that download. Now it does display this little notepad file, which just lets me know that the block is in effect for that file. All right, now let's take a look at G Suite. So for non-Microsoft apps, we can also do this. So here I am inside Google Docs, inside G Suite, and I wanna work with this document. So not only can I block that copy and paste from happening, but I can also block the download. So let's see what that looks like. Again, scans the content of the data or the doc document and notices it contains X1050 and immediately it blocks that download. So this is made possible with a product called Cloud App Security, and what it's doing is based on my identity, it's proxying me through a Microsoft data center, in this case, CAS.MS. So how exactly does this work? Well, I mentioned it uses a product called Microsoft Cloud App Security, and this is part of conditional access, and we call it app control. We're actually controlling that session by proxying it through Microsoft Cloud App Security. Now we have some different scenarios that we could solve for here, but what I really wanna show you is all the different apps that we support for this. Everything from AWS to Workplace by Yammer, or by Facebook rather, Yammer, Salesforce, G Suite, Exchange Online Teams, it's all here. And so the way this works is first, we use Azure Active Directory conditional access, and we tell it anytime my user tries to log into G Suite Teams or Office 365, grant access, require multi-factor authentication, but use session control and apply this custom policy. And once I turn that on and click save, I then go into cloud app security from Microsoft and I configure that policy. So let's look at the first one, that blocking of the copy and the paste. So here I'm preventing specific activities. I can even prevent you from sending a message in Teams or even Slack. We'll save that for another video or copy or, or paste data into it. And then I'm applying that to my different apps like G Suite and Office 365. And then I'm inspecting the content. And anytime we see X1050 or a regex based on whatever parameters here, let's block that copy or that paste or that sending data from happening. And then let's of course send an alert to the admin and maybe even email the end user. Now, if I go back here, let's look at the other policy, block download. So again, if you're using one of these apps, Teams, G Suite, Office 365, and you try to download a file, we're going to inspect the content of that file. If it contains keywords X1050, then we're going to block that download from happening, maybe send you an email, customize that block message, send an alert, so on and so forth. Now there's a couple things I wanna show you here. The first thing is I could actually allow the download but apply an Azure Information Protection label to it, which then encrypts the file. And unless you have my identity, you can't open the file. So it's on a non-managed computer, it's on a personal computer, but the file is encrypted. So I could do that. 
okay? I could also apply some custom permissions here as well, which is interesting. And then up here, I'm applying it to a keyword, but I could also apply it to some preset stuff that I also have, and virtually anything's possible here. So once we create the policy, and it generates an alert when that policy has been violated, here you can see all of those different alerts. So there's the block of copy paste or of the download in G Suite and in Teams, right? You get the idea there. Pretty cool stuff. And then in my activity log, I can see when this is happening. So there it is inside G Suite. I can see some telemetry about that file in G Suite. I could see some information about that user and where they're coming from and if it's associated with any other alerts, but then I could also see that the action was blocked. Same thing with cut, copy, and paste. It was blocked. Here I could see somebody's trying to open the file in SharePoint. They tried to download the file, blocked. Awesome, awesome capability. So again, this is amazing capability that you could apply to your environment. So here's what I want you to do. Go out there and test this, play with it. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. And uh, I'm also gonna be posting a in-depth article on how to configure this on my blog at www.mattsosman.com. So definitely take a look at that. Okay, folks, well, I'm gonna go watch the Kansas City Chiefs play. Hopefully we win. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more videos. And again, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments or connect with me on LinkedIn or go to my blog and I'll get those answered for you. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.